Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi friends, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. This is lesson three of three for kindergarten and TK sentence writing. If you haven't already watched the video by Jack Hartman, Parts of a Sentence, pause the video now. You can find a link in the description of this video. Go there now. Hi friends, welcome back. Let's review what you just learned from Jack Hartman's video, Parts of a Sentence. Let's take a look. Sentences start with a... Hmm, maybe we need some help. Hello. Well, hi Terry, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you, boys and girls? Well, what do you think here? What do sentences start with a... Oh! It's easy. Can you tell us? Correct. A capital letter. Well, let's write that down. Very good, Mr. Fred. Thank you. So what does it say up there? It says capital letter. Awesome. Okay. So what's next? Well, let's take a look. Sentences end with a... Want to try that again, Terry? Sentences end with a... What do you think it ends with? Uh, I'm not sure. How about you, boys and girls? It ends with a period. What does a period look like, Mr. Fred? Oh, do you know what it looks like? Yeah, boys and girls, what does it look like? Looks like a dot. There we go. So now we know that we start the sentence with a capital letter. We end it with a period. But what about the words in between? What do you think, boys and girls? I think it's a paw space apart. A paw space, Terry. Oh. For you youngsters, it's a finger space. That's right. Let's take a look here. I, finger space, like, finger space, the, and if we can fit another word here, we would have a finger space there, or we go to the next line. Next up, we're going to give you some examples of, and non-examples of what sentences should be. Hi, boys and girls. Let's take a look at some Examples and non-examples of correctly written sentences. What? Non-examples? What does that mean? That means that if you have you know, something that's not correctly written in it, like missing a capital letter or a period or the line spacing is off. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the sentences then. Good deal. I can see you, period. Is that one correctly written or not? I know, I know. What do you know, Terry? I know that the sentence starts with a, what do you think, boys and girls? A capital letter. Correct. Yay. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. You want to read that, Terry? Okay. I like you, period. Boys and girls, I like you, period. Is that one correctly written? What do you think, boys and girls? Yes, it is. It starts with a capital, and it ends with a period. Let's take a look at num number three here. Okay. He has a cat, period. He has a cat? I have a cat! I know, Terry, but what do you think about the sentence? Let's take a look. Oh. I see the problem. What's the problem, Terry? The sentence doesn't begin with a capital letter. Oh, that's right. Look at that. That H needs to be capitalized. That's right. H needs to be capitalized at the beginning of a sentence. Okay, the last sentence. Yay! I can play. Hmm, that looks good to me. 
Really? Are you sure? Take a closer look. Oh! I know! What do you think, boys and girls? Correct! It's missing a period. Remember, sentences start with a capital letter, capital letter, and end with a period, with a period. Next up, what's up? We're going to go over the directions for your activity sheet. Yay! The activity sheet directions! See you soon! Hi, boys and girls. Terry, hello, and I, we're going to go over the directions for the activity sheet. All right! Let's take a look! Hey! There's something wrong! What's wrong, Terry? Well, it looks different. That's right. You see, I blew it up to make it larger so you can see it on the video. Oh! That's for you, boys and girls! Thank you, Mr. Woods! You're welcome. All right! Okay, let's take a look. Follow Terry and me. First, this country here is South America. We call it South America. Why? Because it's south of North America, where I'm at here in the United States. Oh, yeah! Okay, let's take a look at the animals. I like animals! Up here, it's a mammal. It has a long snout and a long tongue, and it's called an anteater. Anteater! Down here is a bird. I like birds. And it's called a macaw. And then we have an iguana. Ew, an iguana! What are iguanas? Iguanas are reptiles! And then we have another bird. I like birds! A flamingo. So part of this whole thing here is for you to write your own sentence. You have to write your own! But wait! Can I use other words? Yes, you can, Terry! Well, let's take a look. You can use, oh, sight words. You can, if you have a list of sight words that you know, remember, you need to know the sight word. You may use them, okay? If you have a list, if you don't have a list, go find a list for your appropriate grade level. That's right. Okay, let's get back here. I want you to work on this together with your parent or guardian, but they need to not give you so much prompting, you know, just a little bit here and there because I want to see you be a successful sentence writer. Yay, a successful sentence writer! So remember, boys and girls, to be a person that writes, what? You have to be a, oh yeah, a person that writes. Empty hearts and mouths without wheels